So with that, I'm super excited um, to uh, introduce Carrie, who is a quirky, self-made blogger who turns to the real world in a vain attempt to solicit real-world feedback while sharing her treasure trove of potential gifts. She has been writing since she published her junior high magazine, Spoke. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you also to the Writer Studio. Uh, it's a great forum where we can all get together and share our stories. So it's uh, really nice to be here and be able to share some of my stories with you. Tonight I am going to give, um, present uh, two works. One is a short story and one is a short poem. And the reason I tell you about the poem now is that I won't skedaddle after the story. I'll stay up here because sometimes I want to leave the stage quickly. So the first, uh, the first short story is uh, it's just a, a quick tale uh, about uh, you know, some of life's pains and uh, betrayals. And, and the poem follows up with a little bit of forgiveness and healing. So hopefully they'll complement each other nicely. Here we go. This is called Allegiance. There I was, rifling through my brother's stack of grade 12 assignments, five years his junior, five years after he had last written one, hoping to find a wayward essay entitled, My Family Tree, courtesy of the only soft grade 12 course that I was currently taking, Family Studies. In two years, calculus, physics, chemistry seemed to be all the fun that I could find. I really didn't want to spend too much time on Family Studies. Just as I was about to give up my search and begrudgingly start my own paper from scratch at the 11th hour, I found it. There it was, my brother's paper, a glistening piece of gold star material shouting out to me in all of its 95% glory, Eureka. I started to read the paper hoping that it, had, that it had the same theme and substance of which I was being asked to submit, scanning, glancing, flipping. It looked good. I reminded myself, as only a baby sister could, hmm, yeah, he had been scholarly at one point, I guess. With my own notebook in hand, pen at the ready, I began to study his paper in earnest in the hopes that I may be able to simply transcribe some of his findings. I was careful in my copying, copying even in those days. I continued on to the last page and final call to questions. Finally, it began to look familiar to my assignment. I clapped my hands and danced around my room to journeys, don't stop believing. The questions were identical. How did you collect your family tree information? Who was the most helpful in assisting you with the collection of the information? What was the most surprising fact that you learned while working on this assignment? Hmm, this one held me. I paused. I returned to the beginning of a sentence. What was the most surprising thing that you learned while doing this assignment? I fully expected some sort of trite guy answer, like I never knew my grandma's real first birth name, or something like that. Instead, I scanned down a line to my brother's ballpoint pen answer, faded slightly from the five-year lap since the ink had last seen the light of day, and there it was in worn blue on white, indelibly ever etched in the crevices of my mind. The most interesting thing that I have learned while doing this assignment, my brother wrote, is that my dad had been married before and has three children. <laughs> Two boys and a girl. <laughs> what? I reread it. I put my pen down, picked up the paper between my hands, holding it as though it was that holy grail, fragile, important, paramount. I reread the answer that he had penned for a third time. I shook my head in disbelief and frantically searched for my brother's name on the paper, ensuring that in fact this was his paper in my hand. It was, and yes, it was his handwriting. I had stopped my dancing, sat down on the bed, alone, feeling numb, stuck in time, unable to grasp the enormity of this unable to grasp any reasoning at all. The rapid fire responses of my left brain kicked into full flight and the questions filled my mind. 
If my dad had been married before, and I have three siblings, why had I never heard about this? I had never heard this from anyone. No cousins, no aunts, no grandmas, no moms. I'm 17 year old. <clears throat> why had nobody told me? Why had I been forced to ramble along as any bumbling teenager does, feeling such isolation, loneliness, and despair at times, only at times, although it did make for some great poetry, when all along I had a sister out there who was maybe, just maybe, would have given her right arm to have known me. I looked at the clock in my room. It was 11.45 p.m. I began the march towards my parents' bedroom and to my almost sleeping parents. The teenager who had locked herself in her room with her books and her papers for the past two years was now alive and kicking. Flick! On the light went, are you two for real? How could you not tell me that dad had been married before? What the hell were you thinking? I morphed into some sort of strange parenting role for a moment, scolding them both as though they were two six-year-olds who had just been caught with an open vial of crazy glue and the family cat cornered. My mom was alarmed and flustered. She jumped out of bed in her pink cotton nighty and tried to console me, walking me toward the kitchen her greatest place of comfort. I'm surprised that she didn't start making nachos for me right then. <laughs> That's my sister laughing. Um, <laughs> my dad mumbled something about it being nothing to worry about and rolled over, a small inconvenience upon his night's sleep. Yeah, nothing to worry about until the therapy book bills started rolling in. My mom, my closest ally in the whole world, stood before me in the kitchen. I think she had even turned the oven on in, in anticipation of something being eaten. I said, I wanted to tell you, honey. I really did. But your dad didn't want me to. He didn't want you to know the story, and I simply respected his wishes. I swallowed. Tears trickled out of the corners of my eyes, destined for the ground, unabated. I don't understand, Mom. Why did you keep this from me? Why did you keep this secret? Why didn't anyone in this whole, like years over there, why didn't anyone in this whole fucking family tell me that I had a sister? You know how much I've wanted a sister? Do you understand what you have done? My mom hugged me. She held me close for all she was worth. She said sorry. I know she was sorry. How could I not have known she was sorry? I was her girl. She would have moved the earth and the moon for me. It simply did not make any sense at all as to why she had pledged allegiance to him over me.